thought I'd show you how to do right up against the edge. Here we've got some laminate flooring in the kitchen. And this little area here didn't have any mastic on it. The mastic stopped here. Then the carpet uh, pad. And they had some tack strip there. And they must have painted this out before they laid the, uh, the laminate in here. So it's like, what am I going to do with that? Well, very simple. We're just going to first start off with your WD-40 again. We're going to spray it on here. And this also had the areas where the, uh, where the tack strip was nailed. We pulled that up, up and um, it popped the concrete. So you got all kinds of in indentations here. Got my metal steel brush. Just going to loosen up the, the black nasty tar substance. This used to have this, this uh, flooring down. You know, this was glued down to the floor with that mask. We pulled all that up. And I've got all that on my channel, how to, how to remove that stuff. Okay. I've just got my three inch putty knife, just a cheapo throwaway putty knife, three bucks at the store. I guess you can hear me pretty good through this dust mask. I've got a dust mask on because of the smell. Just taking my, my sponge over this. And see now, because I've got that stuff on here, I can just use the, the residue in here. Because see, when I squeeze this, see all the stuff that comes out? Now I can, I can just gently get that right up against the base or up against the laminate. If you get any on the laminate, you know, we can wipe that off when it dries with the cleaner. And then if that doesn't get into all of your, your concrete bits, just take the tip of this brush and get it all. If you don't get it all, and if you still see remnants of white, just spray some WD-40 in there, get that in there like that. Okay, I'm gonna wipe off the excess. I, I still see there's some more glue marks here, some mastic marks. And you can take off as much as you want. If you have any little bits of lines left, you have little lines in your laminate flooring that might match up. You might want to leave that throughout your floor on the concrete, let's say, in certain little areas. You can do that. A little bit more here. You would think it would come off pretty easy with that, but just spray a little bit more WD-40 on there. Take off as much as you think. And I'm pushing down on it, so I'm getting just the bottom. That's putting more pressure down on there. And I can take the whole thing on there. And wipe that. Looks like there's still some residue. Uh, I've got it. I could just leave that little bit there if I wanted to. You are the decision maker. If you want it off, then by Joe, get it off. Okay, that looks better. Okay, so I could just Gently go along there and blend it in. If that's not getting it all, take it with your hand, put a little bit on there, because when that dries, that's going to be like the stain. Okay? That's going to be like the stain. And in fact, if you don't want it that dark, we can take some of that off. In fact, we're going to take some of that off. See, I've got this whole area right in here done. And let's see if you can see that. 
Oh yeah, you can see that good. Okay, see, if you wanted it that dark, that's fine. You just let that dry on there. But the owner wants it a little bit lighter than that, so I'm going to spray some cleaner on there. Just start taking my my same sponge on there, get, getting most of that off. This is not going to be the very end of this floor by any means of just getting the excess off. I'm going to end up having to do the entire floor again. But it's going to be a lot quicker next time because it's just going to be taking some of that stain off. See, now I can, now I can spray some of that right on my, my spugs, let's say. And I don't know how much of this I want to take off. Because remember, I'm trying to cover that white. Uh, and, I'm, and if I have a little bit of the white showing, that could be good too. This floor is just going to have a mind of its own when you get done. And that's the beauty of working with the concrete floor that already has mastic on it, let's say. Because there's a lot you can do. See, I could, I could seal right over that if I wanted, but I have a feeling that the owner wants just slight, a slight bit of color, more light color, kind of orangey. And so we're probably going to end up putting more, a different stain on here. And see, this almost looks like its own stain, doesn't it? Doesn't that look nice? You let that dry, and you could put a sealer directly over that if you wanted. And that's the look you're going to get right there. If you don't like that, you can take off a little bit more. Okay? Now, here, here's an area over here. I've been going back and forth with the bucket. See, I've got all these drips here, and that's okay. Just clean it up. It'll come off. You want to put some spray on there, some cleaner? You can. So I'm getting so much on there, I've got to take some of this off, like that. If that's what you're trying to achieve, that color right there, there you go. You can, you can have it just like that. But see, I would, I would go over with a different sponge. This one is so saturated that no matter what I do, I'm going to have lines on it, you know? So make sure you always have some extra sponge. I would get a brand new sponge, and I go over this entire floor, okay? There's a tip for you. So that's all I got for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.